Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, hey, my name is Aj. I'm an artist and I'm on Etsy. I've been here for almost two months now. I've learned a lot. I try to be very honest and super clear about my whole process. So right here, I'm cutting out some postcards that I actually got to design in my last studio vlog. If you haven't checked that one out, I recommend going there because there's some references from that one and this one. I'll try not to do that in the future because you'll have to watch like a hundred of them as we move forward and no one has time for that. So I'm just punching the corners to make it like super cute and I'm also watching Amphibia. I also spend some of this day watching Andy J Pizza's um, live video over on Skillshare and it was really great. And right here I'm going on an adventure because I had a day off work and I like to plan my mornings if you guys saw that from my last studio vlog but on a on an adventure day you just kind of get up and you see where the wind will take you so here I'm on the train for the first time since March due to COVID there was so much outstanding artwork all over the place so I really appreciated that um, and none of these things really gave me any like amazing ideas but I just felt the art vibes and it was just really refreshing for me to see all this stuff going on even though we're like in a really weird time people are still staying consistent with their artwork and you love to see it some of the stuff was just really great so I ended up going to Blick Art Studio and it was my first time ever going there and I don't even know what to say it just felt so warm it felt like it's been so long since I've gotten to be in an environment like this and to be back around the supplies and around the art people just felt perfect. So I ended up getting a little bit over like I think $30 worth of art stuff so I got to try these cool Blick Studio markers and I saw some good reviews on them. People were comparing them and saying that they were better than Copic but I don't have Copic so I can't really <laughs> compare the two things and I'm honestly not a marker person. I'll, I'll like sketch out whatever. This like red and blue pencil though, in love. I will buy a million of these. But like, I just don't want to color my artwork, I'd rather do it digitally. And I also got some gel pens to write on the outside of my envelopes. So here I am just like testing it out. 
and I was like, I don't understand why I got all these super boring colors. I think it was like for Inktober and like October vibes, but I could have went a little bit more bright. Um, so now I know for next time. Actually, why am I buying markers, but I'm not gonna use them. I don't really know. Sometimes you just wanna want a little arty, artsy pickup. And this was my artsy pickup. So that red and blue pencil though, I've used it every single day since I bought it. And the tip hasn't broken, it's barely gotten smaller, so I'm just gonna continue to buy these. I'm really enjoying sketching with these. And that um, rubber eraser was also great. Right here is a Hamilton sticker I designed, and I love this thing, it's one of my favorite stickers I've ever made. And it is, okay, so if you know Hamilton, he's like, just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. Every single time he said that, I imagined this. So finally drawing it felt so satisfying. So here we are in the sticker games. So right now we're outside, here to test how waterproof, weatherproof, everything proof these stickers claim to be. So I have stickers from Sticker Mule, Sticker App, Vinyl Disorder, online labels, and some cheap sticker papers that I got off Amazon when I was just starting out. So here we'll be simulating some weathery scenarios to see which ones stick to their guns, what? Put me on TV. So here we are, and this is just me simulating a regular, like, pretty rainy day. It's not like downpour, it's just like a little bit wet. This should, like, oh, I thought all of them could survive through this, and I was shocked. So they all looked okay. But once we got to the rub test, I was like, this is, this is a little sus. This, this green one, already scratched, barely any water. After that little bit of water, like, anything could happen and it could have that amount of water. Your water bottle could explode in your backpack and your, your sticker's gonna be destroyed? Okay, so clear is not working. The rest of them passed the rub test with flying colors, not an issue. Except for the clear one with this cheap sticker paper. Nope, not it. Ink was running, messy. And then we went on to the second trial, which is a stormy day. My grass was getting super water this day. I mean, good for you, grass. Um, also, I want to show you my crock because, you know, it's science and we're safe. So, this is a stormy day. It's pretty consistent downpour of water. And once again, the rub test, just to double check on what's going on. The green one was still dripping. And I was like, wow, like that wasn't anything proof that label was a bold face lie so at least we know now i can take that off any of the claims saying oh yeah it should be water resistant it isn't and right here is a car wash simulator where it's like little pulses of water pretty close by close range so here we are with the lifty peely test just to see if there's any lifty peely sections or areas and sticker mule on the sticker mule sticker, it was a little bit peely. The mermaid lasted fine. She was looking good still. She was chilling. Um, the sticker app sticker seemed pretty okay. The edge was like a little teeny tiny bit ready to lift. Vinyl disorder was lifting. I was like, okay, all right, vinyl disorder. This one, very little peel. Up. Oh. Little peel, little bend. This one is, and this one has. Instead of leaving my stickers and like drying them off myself, I'm going to let them air dry in the sunlight to see how they do in the sun. They're what they're weatherproof, right? Sunny day is a piece of weather. So these are still the ones from Sticker App. Let's get a good look at them. Not completely coming off, but also experiencing some like weather marks. <laughs> this one is not experiencing as much weather marks, but it has this little fold. So as the experiments continued, I tried different things. I started to like scratch them and touch them with my keys and add extra water. And if I add water close range, how long until it stops getting like little scratch marks? And then I did the last thing, which is the re-stick wow, check after it dried itself. off. Good job. And sticker mule was completely stuck back, as was sticker app. I was shocked. And vinyl disorder? 
This one was still hella sticky, so I know when my packages go out and it has this little label on the outside, it's good. And this one stopped scratching after it dried, which was also really great. And it wasn't like, it was still sticky enough that it wouldn't just like automatically peel off. Once again, here is the scratch test so you can see it once dry. So I definitely wanted to try to test out some of the stickiness and different things for my stickers with you guys and in a fun way, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. But also I wanted to make sure that I was being honest with the people that chose to buy my stickers. How, how waterproof? How everything proof? Is it really gonna be okay in the sun? Do I really trust that it's gonna like go through the car wash and like be good? More tests to come definitely, but first round I think it did pretty okay. So hey guys, I just wanna warn you guys about two things so thing number one is please do your research and double check that this is a company that you would or would not want to work with um i think that we shouldn't all have to experience terrible things i think like if one of us experiences something bad and it's bad enough i can just be like you know what girl like i saw what you went through i don't have to do that for me um so if you think that same kind of way like choose not to work with them if you say i want to try it for myself go right ahead Number two, I absolutely would not just mean to use vulgar words in any situation, just recklessly. So um, it's definitely based on context. And I was just reading what it was saying. And it was not like the, the actual word. It's like the word the word is spelling. So I hope you don't mind. And if you do mind, I'm sorry. So hey guys, I have worked with a couple different dropship companies and stationary kind of shops, although it's like mostly paper. Sometimes they'll have like things like mugs or just like artsy kind of deals with mugs and things And I was like, okay, I'll try some t-shirts, but like mugs are totally up my alley So I'll try that instead of getting mugs produced and shipping them out and like keeping all that inventory I was like, okay, I've done it before. Let's use a dropship company So in the past I've used bonfire and bonfire was okay um, but I ran into some issues with bonfire in terms of restrictions on artwork the shipping took a long time there was no way to like get samples and the color like not being able to do whatever you want in terms of design was a problem for me i was like yeah can't really mess with that when it came to the mugs i ordered my sample and i think when they're doing the samples they're paying such close attention to quality and everything because it's yours and they want your business all of that well and dandy however i'm not sure if they're paying that same amount of quality and if things are being produced as quickly for everything else so i ordered my shirt and it came in like five days. The mug took like a week and a half. Bottom line, let's just get straight to it. I'm never using them again, ever. I don't think at this time they're able to redeem themselves. I'm just done. Something that is huge for me is quality control. I want to make sure that I don't really care what I'm getting. You can send me, you can send it for me. And as long as I can see what's happening for other people and it's like fine, I'm good. Like mine could have something spelled wrong. Don't do it for anyone else. So you got you get to go in and you get to customize them. So they wanted theirs custom and they wanted their name on the side of the mug. And I was like, excellent, okay. So I put the name in on the side of the mug and they put it all together. So Printful then is supposed to produce it and send it out. They already made it take a little bit longer for other people ordering and much longer than mine. So I already wasn't happy with that. I was like, okay, mine came in like four, in like a week and a half, it's been two weeks and theirs has not been delivered yet or like started the producing. Inside, I put it down, I checked the label, it says Oztoberco on the top. So she came back and we're opening it and it was a larger box than my box. And I was like, oh, like maybe they messed up like your name and they just didn't throw it out. So like maybe we got two, cool. And so we're opening up the box and it is two mugs. And I'm pulling out the first box and it's like two small individual little brown boxes. Pull it out and when I open it up, it has a note and I was like, okay. And the note said something like, hope you enjoy your effing bird shit. And I was like, the f excuse me. It's like, yeah, hope you enjoy your effing bird shit. Have a great effing day. And I was like, okay, clearly there was a mistake made here because I didn't leave a note and I definitely would not have left this vulgar, disgusting note. And so I was like, yeah, uh, don't know about that. Ignore. When I opened it up, I literally could not believe what, what the hell I was seeing. I was like beyond furious. My mom was laughing. She thought it was funny. I don't think that's funny because this mug, it didn't have to go to my house. It could have went to literally anyone who was on my Etsy for like a week. Anyone could have ordered this. A random, so I got um, a bunch of Halloween sticker orders from this random little old lady in Canada. If this thing, if the, put in your trust in me, giving me your business, giving me your money when you do not have to, 
and you get this in the mail, I can't make it up to you. There's nothing I can do or say the correct mug, money back, because this is offensive. That's it. So we open it up and the mug says, effing birds. And I was like, what the hell is this? And I was like, the number one, this is not a magic mug. Number two, the hell is this? Number three, what, why? That's a curse word. And then we turn it over and like it could not, I was like, this can't get any worse. And so in both boxes, it's two of these freaking mugs. I'm like, what kind of monster wants this? Effing birds, I don't get it. And on this side, it has another big scary bird and it says, did you even read the effing syllabus? What the f who wants this? Literally who? So when I got this, like the kind of angry that I was, I'm like, anyone could have gotten that. It could have burned bridges for me. It could have been someone testing out my artwork and my quality. It could have been someone testing out my customer service. It could have been someone that genuinely wanted to support me, a stranger. Like a good percentage of my orders are for people I do not know. If a stranger gets that, you're livid. I'm not gonna be happy if I order something from a stranger and I get F and bird Literally, literally. I'm gonna be super mad if someone else has my mug and if it's whatever monster wanted this, I'm not gonna get my mug back. So I email Printful. So the mistake is not the issue for me. People make mistakes, I guess. Businesses shouldn't be making as many mistakes. I really try to rectify and I try to fix all the mistakes I make as a business. I try to be really on top of those things, but I also quadruple check everything. And clearly Printful's not doing that. I messaged Printful and I was like, hi, a customer just got a magical witch mug and this crap says bleep, 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 on it. Bleep, bleep. And they were like, oh my gosh, like, can we see a picture? And I was like, yeah, they're like, oh. so clearly there was a mistake. Um, would you like a refund or would you like them to get resent a mug? So I asked my mom, like, do you want a refund or a mug? She's like, I want, I want the mug. And I was like, I just don't understand. So in me trying to communicate with them, where is my mug? How is that happening? Trying to communicate my feelings with them and just say like, this is, this is absurd. That's nuts. You can't do that to people. You could be burning any kind of bridge for me. You could be ruining opportunities with people that want to see my artwork somewhere else. And you could just be messing it up for me right now. They never say sorry. They're like, oh, here's your refund. We'll, we'll refund $9 to your Printful account. And I'm like, what do you give me $9 for? And so I thought when they gave me $9, it was to say, sorry about that. Here's what you put into it. And we'll be sending them another mug. So it's been like a week and a half and I was like, hi Printful, I never got anything saying when you, when the mug would be delivered, I don't have any like confirmation or anything to send the person. They're like, oh, we gave you your money back. So that's done. Mind you, the mug with my price and Printful's price was $15. And so they gave me nine and I was like, what would you give? I'm like, okay, I don't really understand what the $9 is for. And they're like, oh, well it's for you to refund the people. And I'm like, okay, they're, they paid $15. So what do you give me $9 for? And they're like, oh, well you have to pay the, the rest. Are you drunk? I just want to pause again to say thank you for um, continuing to watch. I know the story is chaos. I'm sorry for her. I'm sorry. I don't really know how to make it not chaos. Every single part is crazy. It never got resolved. And I was definitely frazzled as I was saying this because it was still ongoing. And now that it's over, it's still ridiculous. So um, sorry about that. Um, please continue to watch. You think you made a mistake, could have burnt all kind of bridges, ruined whatever for me, hurt these people's feelings, offended anyone, and you think you're gonna make me pay out of my out of my out of my profit? Pay them back? Why would that happen? Why would you think that would happen? I'm like, so you can make a massive mistake, have like give my artwork for free to other people and we have to pay money? and you're not gonna apologize or try to make it right in any way. So I've been emailing with these people for like literally five days and number one, they're being super rude. It's not even about the mistake for me at this point, it's about the fact that you can make such a large and shameless mistake and you don't want to own up to it. You don't wanna apologize, you don't wanna try to make it right in any way. You're like, you can pay the rest and figure it out. So I have to, luckily, the, the, the saving grace the situation is, it's my mom that ordered it. The issue is other people ordered stuff that is still not gotten there. So my one of my best friends ordered a hoodie, ordered the sweatshirt, and I just have to be like prepared with the idea maybe that sweatshirt she gets is gonna say something vulgar and disgusting on it. Or maybe it's gonna be just a design she didn't order or it's just gonna be completely wrong. And I have to work with these same people again who are just 
rude and nasty. Shameless, disgusting, inappropriate, unprofessional, printful, never again. So I think moving forward, if I wanna make a t-shirt or a mug or something like that, I will have to keep the inventory somewhere and work still out of my house or if eventually if I'm like big enough to get a warehouse luckily, out of there because you're not gonna have me messed up on quality control or customer service again. So I learned, honestly, I say, I said in my last video vlog, I've learned so much. It has not been easy, but I've learned so much. I'm still pissed about it, but I'm gonna take it as just a positive learning opportunity and move forward and never work with them ever again. Ever again. Ever, ever again. Welcome to October. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching my first studio vlog of October. This is such an exciting month for me because it's just my favorite stuff. My first ever enamel pin is coming out. Halloween stickers, spooky vibes, donut shaped like monsters. Like what else, literally what else could you ask for? Hocus Pocus is coming on TV tonight. Like, I know in this video there wasn't a lot of packing, like packaging, and I know a lot of people like that packaging process, but just to be honest, I had like one order this week. Honestly, sometimes you don't have as many orders as you usually do. Like two weeks ago, I had a really heavy week. And last week I had like, this week I had like two orders and they were like five days apart. And so I couldn't like wait to package them together. It was like package this one, get it out, four day wait, and then another one. Um, I didn't want to document the whole packing process and have it be like a lot shorter than last time. I thought that might be like less than satisfying. So hopefully we have some more stuff to pack next time with our new Halloween and spooky season stickers dropping. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, sidebar, I had some comments in my last studio vlog that really choked me up. Honestly, art people are the sweetest people. Forget everyone else. If you're an artist if you, and if you're a Halloween person, sweetest comments, like honestly, so touched. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please check out my Instagram at OddsTheArtist so you can see more behind the scenes and see me be silly on a regular basis or subscribe so I can see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Happy October. Happy Oddstober. This is the one problem with the Mickey ears with the, with the, with the sequence. Oh, Jesus. No, look how poor, look, look how tangled. Can you see it? Can you see it, please? And now our twist out is destroyed, but it's all in the spirit of Halloween. But I will do a new twist out while I'm watching Hocus Pocus tonight. See you guys later. Is your grandmother okay? I mean, she ain't moving. Yeah, watch this. Turn that back on, I was watching that. Yeah. That's gonna leave a mark.